For those of you who are taking a course with me, uh, we're going to be using Google Classroom and Google Drive primarily uh, throughout the uh, semester. Uh, I explained Google Classroom in a prior video. Today I'd like to spend a few minutes describing Drive and how you can use it in conjunction with Google Classroom. So the first thing that, uh, that you need to do is make sure that you have the app installed, both apps of course and so make sure that you go to Google Play and install Google Drive make sure both Google Drive and Google Classroom are installed in your uh, device then when you go into Drive you log in with your uh, Google username and password and you'll have a Google Drive where you can organize your um, folders however you wish okay so uh, I've chosen to organize alphabetically here but you can choose however you want to organize your files and folders now what I want to show you here is if, when you go into Google Classroom you'll notice that you have access to classroom folders okay so classroom folders is going to be a space on Google Drive that's specific to the user so what I mean by that is what I have here is going to look different than what you uh, what appears uh, when you go and access your own fi uh, folders and files. So when you access, again going back here to classroom folders, that folder, if you go directly to Google Drive, it will automatically create this folder called classroom. So when you go into your own uh, Google Drive and you click on classroom, this view, this content that appears here is the same content that appears if I access my classroom folders from Google Classroom, if that makes sense. So this is the same, just two different ways to access the same information. And this is again going to be specific to the user. So you can decide how to create your own folders however you wish through uh, Google Classroom, going to Classroom Folders, as I'm doing here okay so and again just to repeat go to Google Drive this is my main drive you will have a folder called classroom now I will periodically share different folders and files with you uh, throughout the semester so when you go into Google Drive there's an option called shared with me and these are going to be the folders and files that other people share with you so in my case as your instructor if I share with you different folders or files, you can find those that information that I'm sharing with you by going to your Google Drive and going and clicking Shared with Me. Okay, so you have your Shared with Me folders and files, and you're going to have your classroom uh, folder for the class, right? Uh, that you can access again through uh, Google Drive or Google Classroom. So I, just to compare writing one, this is what my content looks like as I go in directly from Google Drive. If I go back to Google Classroom and I access that same information, I click on here, and that's the same, again, the same information that I showed earlier. So I hope this clarifies. Again, if you do have any questions, we'll be talking about this in class. And uh, uh, feel free to ask me in class or come to my office if you need further clarification how to use Google Drive and Google Classroom together to access uh, the folders and files that we'll be using for this semester.